recording artist who loves a good old fashioned puzzle. Also, she's married to a spy kid. Please welcome someone that I love, but also really respect. And I can't wait to meet her. I'm so excited. Megan Trainer. <laughs> with this woman, you come onto the scene, you take everybody's breath away, then I find out you're from Nantucket. Yes. It's an extraordinary place to yes. be. It's gorgeous. Okay, so um, you are married to a spy kid. Spy kid. A man. A man. He's a man now. He's a spy man. I'm not married to a child. I'm married to a spy man. Now, how did you meet him? Oh, there's a couple stories, but um, the first one ever, I was a I was like 18 years old as a baby songwriter out here in LA. And I was at a, a songwriter Hollywood party and he crashed it with two of his friends. And I was like, Spy Kids is here. And I, I went right to him and I, I usually, I fangirl so hard and I don't say anything, but I went right to him and was like, are you Spy Kids? And he was like, <laughs> yeah, and was really nice. And then two years later, I became a famous pop star and I was friends with Chloe Moretz. And she, I was like, I'm, I want a nice guy. I just, I'm sick of all these mean guys. I want a nice guy. And she's like, my best friend's the nicest guy. And then we went on a double date and we've never been apart ever since. <laughs> all and it's interesting to me that you were also able to have a baby. Congratulations. Thank you. Made one. <laughs> Made one. C section. How do you think you were able to accomplish with a newborn, how it's was chilly. that making an album in the middle of oh, Spilkes? Well, <laughs> luckily I, um, I produce and record my vocals myself. So I, I do a lot of work at my house. I built a studio in my basement. And then I told my co-writers like, we can start at 10 a.m. but I'm wrapped by 6 p.m. because I'm there for bath time and bedtime. And that made it like all worth it and great. I fell in love with you because you came onto the scene and somehow you knew to defend who you are, what you are, body positivity. When they did that video and they elongated you and you got right on, you said no. And your lyrics in, in the song about I'm up all night, you know, and- Worried about my body type. Yes. yes. How do you do it? I think um, hearing people, when I talk about like my mental health or my body positivity, they're like, same. They're like, you say a lot of the things that I feel, but I'm too, uh, too scared to say out loud. And I wanted to give a voice to that in my music because I need it for myself. And, and now with this album, it's with motherhood. It's with the mom guilt of working so much. It's with posting things that are only perfect and not posting like me sobbing because I don't take pictures when I cry, Chris. Um, but like, <laughs> just like, uh, I didn't want people to think my, I would get interviewed all the time and they're like, you're a superwoman, everything's great. You're, you love your body, you're so confident. I'm like, oh no, I do all this because I don't feel those things. You know, I'm working every day on trying to better myself and trying to love myself more. And that's what these songs are about. So when Me Too video came out, I was like, I've, I'm the bass girl that ain't no size two. Why are you breaking my waist? I'm very clear about, I don't do this. Who did this, you know? So I was like, take it down. That's not what I stand for. Um. to thank you as a woman, a mom, like a girl for so long. You've also carried this strength, humor, like over to social media and boy. <laughs> okay, you're, I mean, you are, star. you are crushing it on social media, which I think is just so wonderful and fun. You are like, <laughs> and your bestie Chris Olsen is here and he's all over your post. How did you guys meet? Nantucket years ago. He's also a Nantucket area. <laughs> but um, on TikTok, we like DM'd each other recently and then he posted an Instagram that was like, I'm just up all night thinking about Megan Trainer, And I was like, oh, I love you. And then we, we did a podcast episode with my brother 
And then we did TikToks together that day, and I was like, we need to do this more and more and more, and I have an album coming out, help me. And so he's been the best, best friend ever. And you need to find those people. Okay, now I hear that you are single, Chris. I actually... Yeah. Aggressively single. <laughs> it, it, since about January-ish? December. <laughs> Announced it in January. Okay, how would you feel if we set you up with some eligible guys? Oh my God. <laughs> I think I think I think I could do that. Say I yes to the dress. Say yes. Okay. Say okay. yes to life.